Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's your buddy Mikey here, SD Fish and Sips. Friday, May 6, 2022. We're rolling back into La Jolla, beautiful La Jolla. Nice glassy conditions this morning and empty at the launch. Let's get set up. Showtime at the launch here. I was saying it's May 6, 2022. It's about eight o'clock right now. I got the solo skiff rigged out here uh, with my usual, but except I'm going with the Runkle. I got my Avid SX in the shop right now at Squidco getting repaired. So I got my Runkle Baitcaster. I got that 30 pound spider braid on it. And with my Bass Masters um, lead head right here. And then I got my yo-yo iron on the Runkle Titan spinner. I got my TLD 20 here ready to go for uh, trolling and a dropper loop. And then I got my Sabiki. So I've been mixing it up. I've been bass fishing, chasing tuna, doing a little something different. It's been a while since I've gotten on the solo skiff in La Jolla because of the waves and the weather it hasn't allowed it. But today it's looking nice. We got a pretty small surf. There's a couple sets coming over here and uh, the wind is not supposed to be very bad, it's supposed to be pretty calm like this till about noon, the typical. I see a bait boat uh, out here, so that's what my thing, I'm gonna try to track down some bait and then see if we can get into some yellowtail or some white sea bass or some halibut. New Seaforth got a white sea bass earlier this week and they said they got a couple halibuts on the half day uh, trips. A lot of calico bass. So hopefully I can pick through a calico and get a yellowtail or a white sea bass or a halibut. But before we get in the rest of the video, make sure you smash that subscribe, pound that like, show love and support. Thank you for all love and support. Let's get to launching. Here we go, fishing hard. You. That took me way longer to launch. I had to wait out a bunch of waves and all these waves started splashing and then, yep. To get water inside my dry bag. Ton of water in the skiff. Just when I say, oh, it's not bad on the swell, on the waves, you always have to watch. That was a sketchy, sketchy launch. See it all rush? Not that much yet. Okay, now I got that. The launch taken care of. The sun's starting to bust out. That's really nice for the yellowtail especially. But I'm gonna go ahead and make my way straight out to try to find some bait. I'm not gonna go. I could go down to the pier but I'm gonna go over here, keep my eye out for birds, watch the fish finder, the usual stuff, you know how it goes. Whew. Just out here past the reserve and I saw all these birds, but it looks like there's a seal with the fish in its mouth and that's what the birds are hanging around trying to get that fish from the seal. Not the yellow tail birds, the, that's why it's not turn birds, see these are seagulls. Seagulls aren't as smart. They're not the birds of prey that are with the pelagic fish. Got one boat fish in here, couple kayakers up there. I'm gonna look for bait. Seagulls are pooping around me, trying to hit me. One just landed next to me. Okay, since I haven't found any bait yet, I'm gonna go ahead and throw on the DTX Minnow 140 has been chewed on by a bunch of calico. 
You want that yellow tail or that white sea bass? Got my ro Hobie rod holder here. Go out, flip her on. Okay, looks like we got a bait wide coming through. I'm gonna keep moving. Keep pulling, I still got my Nomad out. All right, I've been yo-yoing for a while with my Junior, my 6X Junior Solus Mint. Colored on my Runkle Spinner, this one right here. Actually, now I'm seeing some good marks. But I'm about to put on my three-way swivel with the double tube bait that I have tied on here. A mint and a brown one. If I can get it untwisted. But I got marks right now coming through, so I'm gonna yo-yo through these. Finally got it untwisted. I got my runkle. Heroism bait caster, you can check it out. I got a discount in the link in the description. Then I got a three-way swivel. I got my braid. I put that 30-pound spider braid that Bo gave me. But I have that to three-way swivel here. The line's kind of tangled. And then I have that one side is a mint tube bait, and one side that's this greenish blue mint. And then I got a brown one. Go ahead and drop it down through this bait ball that I see down there. Seems like I'm all the way at the bottom. Okay, I'm just gonna let that drift while I yo-yo. Dang, I just got a nice bite. Three-way swivel doing work. What do I got? Sand bass. Getting slammed by the sand bass on the three-way swivel. That's on the, the hit the brown one. I think that's not gonna be keeper size, but we will measure just short. It's like 13 and a half. 14 is the minimum. So that means that Mr. Sandbass is gonna get a nice, easy, gentle release here. There he goes. Put some more scent on and drop back down. At least I caught a fish, the skunk is off. Bass. I was on the Runkle, this new bait caster that I'm working with with that braid from Bo. Bait's starting to blow up again. Okay, now I'm seeing harder marks, so I got my yo-yo iron, this $4 special from the Marine Sale. Seeing some marks, bigger marks right along the bottom. Got two turn birds here. They were diving for a little bit. See what's going on underneath them. Maybe there's fish. Something's bubbling and boiling right here. It looks small, but we're gonna check it out and see what it is. It's underneath these birds. I don't know if you guys. 
can see it on the GoPro or not. Where we are, yeah, it's right here. Holy cow, go. See if we get hit as we're trolling through it. I got, I got the Nomad out. Maybe it's just mackerel. I'll make some mackerel. It already looks like I'm marking a bunch of stuff. There's bigger splash. Let's see if it's mackerel. Got more bait. There's stuff, little small bubbles and boils. Birds. Marks on the finder. of bait here. It's going pretty crazy. Fish here on the three-way swivel. Calico, because it hit it higher up. Oh, double calico. That's how we do it on the three-way. Jeez. Double calico. The heroism. Ah, uh, yeah. Getting it. Double calico. Get a nice, soft release for you, Dave. Everybody else. Man, there's that crazy huge yacht I saw in San Diego Bay. It's cruising out here by La Jolla, and I just got a call. I got to end it for today. So it's 11:30 right now. I was playing around with the Runkle Heroism. The bait caster that I got right here and that green braided line and the double two bait on the three-way swivel caught some bass, was marking some fish, saw Shane, saw Mark, and now I'm gonna call it today. Thank you all for watching. It's a short one. Uh, tuna time tomorrow. Living the dream, fish hard. Whew. It's busy out here. I'm gonna go ahead. Calico now on the Nomad. It's thick right here. Man, I have this thing super far back.
there it is. Chunky, chunky calico on the Nomad. Okay, I'm gonna bring in the minnow, the DTX, Nomad. And speed in, wind's starting to kick up. I gotta get back. 